Welcome to another video lesson. And in this video lesson, we're going to talk about elements and compounds from the food labels and other products available at home, market, and in the community. And for today's objectives, number one, name elements and compounds that are present from the food labels of the product. Number two, emphasize that elements are listed in the nutrient facts of the food. Three, Infer the food ingredients that could be the source of the listed elements. And number four, recognize that most food ingredients are examples of compound. There are many elements in the food we eat. It may be a food just like cassava, a processed food just like cassava chips, juices, milk, and others. Elements are needed like iron and zinc in order to function a war body. So last time, you already know how to differentiate element from a compound. Elements are chemically the simplest substance, hence cannot be broken down using chemical reaction. While compound is a substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together. Elements play an important role in our life. Everything that you do, there will always be an element that is present. From air that you breathe, to the food that you eat, there are many elements present, and there are mostly nutrients that are essential for our body to function well. Now can you name some elements that are essential to our growth and development? Do we take all the elements as it is? or some of it found as a part of a compound. As you can see in the figure, elements that are known to be essential for human life are shown in purple color. But what makes an element essential? By definition, essential elements is one that is required for life and whose absence results in death. Because of the experimental difficulties involved in producing deficiencies severe enough to cause death, especially for elements that are required in very low concentration in the diet, a somewhat broader definition is generally used. An element is considered to be essential if a deficiency consistently causes abnormal development or functioning, and if dietary supplementation of that element and only that element prevents this adverse effect. Many elements are present in the food we eat. It is important that one should become aware of the kinds of food that the body is taking in. Therefore, one must take into consideration the nutrient facts that are listed on the food label when buying food. It is necessary to know how to compare the nutrient facts of the two products to determine which one will give you most benefit in our body. But what is Nutrition Facts? Nutrition Facts is a list of different nutrients provided by the food product with their corresponding percentage share on the daily recommended dietary allowance. Now refer to the image on the right. Take note that some of the nutrients such as calcium, iron, and potassium are all elements. Ingredients is a substance that forms part of a mixture. For example, in cooking, recipes specify which ingredients are used to prepare a specific dish. Many commercial products contain secret ingredients that are purported to make them better than competing products, or else, it is the list of materials that were added to make the food product. Understanding the Nutrition Facts Label The following key terms are intended to make it easier for you to use the Nutrition Facts Labels. First, Serving per Container It shows the total number of servings in the entire food package or container. One package of food may contain more than one serving. For example, if you eat or drink two servings, 
you are getting double the calories and double the nutrients that are listed on the label. Serving size Serving size is based on the amount of the food that is usually eaten at one time. Serving size is not a recommendation of how much to eat. The nutrition information listed on the label is usually based on one serving of the food. However, some containers may also have nutrition information listed on the entire package. Calories It refers to the total number of calories in a serving of the food. To achieve or maintain a healthy body weight, balance the number of calories you eat and drink with the number of calories your body, sh your body uses. Percent Daily Value it shows how much a nutrient in a serving of the food contributes to a total daily diet. The daily values are reference amount in grams, milligrams, or micrograms of nutrients to consume or not to exceed each day. Use the percent the daily value to determine if a serving of the food is high or low in an individual nutrient. You can also use the percent daily value to compare the food products make sure the serving size is the same for example if you eat one serving of food and it provides 10 percent daily value of the dietary fiber then for that day you have eaten 10 percent of your dietary fiber daily goal dietary fiber is a type of carbohydrate that cannot be easily digested it can speed up the movement of food and waste through the body, increasing the frequency of bowel movements. Diets higher in dietary fiber may reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. The daily value for dietary fiber is 28 grams per day. Calcium is a mineral that is important for bone health. It has also helps the muscle for and nerve function blood clotting, and hormone secretion. Diets higher in calcium could reduce the risk of developing osteoporosis, weak and brittle bones. The daily value for calcium is 1,300 mg per day. Vitamin D. It helps your body absorb calcium and is important for bone health. It also plays a role in blood pressure management hormone production, and immune and nervous system function. Diets higher in vitamin D can reduce the risk of developing osteoporosis, weak and brittle bones. The daily value for vitamin D is 20 micrograms per day. Potassium. It is a mineral that helps with fluid balance and heart, muscle, and nervous system function. The daily value for potassium is 4,700 mg per day. Saturated fat is found in, in higher amounts in animal products. An exemption is seafood, which is generally low in saturated fat. And saturated fats are found in higher amounts in plant-based oil. Example, canola and olive oil. Nuts, seeds, and seafood. Diets in which unsaturated fats are eaten in place of saturated fats and within the recommended daily limits for calories are associated with a, re with a reduced risk of developing cardiovascular disease. The daily value for saturated fat is less than 20 grams per day. Sodium. It is a mineral and is commonly found in table salt and in mainly commercially processed, packaged, and prepared foods. The body needs sodium in relatively amounts, small amounts. Sodium is important for fluid balance as well as muscle and nervous system function. Diets higher in sodium 
are associated with an increased risk of developing high blood pressure, which can raise the risk of heart attacks, heart failure, stroke, kidney disease, and blindness. Since blood pressure often rises with age, limiting your sodium intake becomes even more important each year. Each year. The daily value for sodium is less than 2,300 mg per day. Added Sugars Added sugars include sugars that are added during the processing of foods, such as sucrose or dextrose. Foods packaged are sweeteners, such as table sugar. Sugars from syrups and honey and sugars from concentrated food or vegetable juices. Diets high in calories from added sugar can make it harder to meet the nutrients needs while staying within calorie limits. The daily value for added sugar is less than 50 grams per day. Suppose you are in the grocery store with your mother, looking at all foods on the shelves. Your mother will allow you to buy only one of the food products. What are the things that you will take into consideration when choosing what to buy? You should use the nutrition fact label to make a healthy choices. First, check the servings. The nutrition information listed on the label is usually based on one serving of the food. When comparing calories and nutrients in the different foods, Check the serving size to make a correct comparison. And remember, it is common for a food package and beverage to have more than one serving. Number two, know your calorie needs. 2,000 calories a day is used as a general guide for nutrition advice. However, your calorie needs may be higher or lower and depend on your age, sex, height, weight, and the amount of physical activity you get each day. Talk to your healthcare provider about your calorie and nutrition needs as you age. Number three, use percent daily value as a guide. The percent daily value can help you look for the food to decide which is better choice for you. Older adults should more than often look for food with a higher daily percent daily value of dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, and potassium. Older adults should also more often look for foods with a lower percent daily value of saturated fat, sodium, and added sugars. Talk to your healthcare provider about which nutrients you should track closely for your overall health. And now for your activity, what contained on the food label? Objectives, we're going to name the elements and compounds that are present on the food labels of the product. Number two, emphasize that the elements are listed in the nutrition facts of the food. Number three, infer that the food ingredients that could be the source of listed elements. And last, recognize that the most food ingredients are examples of compounds. Materials needed, food labels. So you can choose this, uh, the examples of products here, or also you, you can also choose three examples of food products that you want. For example, chocolate candy, cereal drinks, and mana pack rice. So using these food products, you're going to identify the compounds and their constituent elements written on the food labels or nutrition facts of the food products that you want. For example, in the chocolate candy, if you have seen there in the nutrition facts that it contains salt or sodium chloride, so you put it here in compound. Then, what is the constituent elements of salt or sodium chloride? We put it here. For example, sodium. It contains sodium and A and chlorine Cl. Then, number three. Name the two elements.
ingredients present in the ingredients of cereal drink that are not listed in the nutrition facts. For your assessment, choose the letter of the best answer, write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper.